Hey guys, Tony from Tony Teaches Tech here, and today we have a problem with our WordPress website. Now, if you look at our website from the outside, everything looks fine. You know, it's formatted correctly, it looks like it has good content. But when we dive under the hood and view the page source and take a look at some of our images, you'll see right away that the images are being served from an IP address as opposed to the name of our domain. Now, let's just click on this. And you'll see here that this is the same exact image that we saw back here. Where is it? There it is. Um, but under the hood, you'll see that the IP address is here and not the domain name. You got that little HTTPS that's crossed out. That's because the certificate is good for the domain name, not the IP address. So how do we fix this? Well, there is a couple different ways that we can fix this. Don't you guys worry. I will walk you through the whole process. What we essentially want to do is find all instances of this IP address and replace it with our domain name. Now, you can do that manually by going into Edit Post and looking at the text version of the website. And again, we'll try to find one of our images. And there's our image and there's the IP address. Now, like I said, you can manually type in tonyflorida.com anytime you see that IP address and save your uh, well, slave your blog post, but that is a very tedious thing, especially if you, if you have like dozens and hundreds of blog posts. We won't do that today, but it is an option. So let's back on out of that. We're not gonna we're not gonna save that. And what we want to do is actually go into the database and kind of do a, a find and replace for all the instances. Um, let me show you how to do that. So. Over here, if your website hosts, and most of them do have something called PHP My Admin, it is basically a user interface for interacting with your database for your WordPress website. Um, I have it pulled up here. Mine is at tonyflorida.com slash MySQL Admin. Sometimes they're at your domain name.com slash PHP My Admin. If you're not sure, check with your hosting provider, but um, when you are inside your PHP My Admin dashboard, let's just get a feel for how many occurrences of this IP address that there are across um, all the tables in your, your database. So we can do that really easily um, by clicking on, or first finding the WordPress website database. And I'm assuming it's this one that starts with WP for WordPress. So we'll click on that and you'll see all of these tables. So there's potentially a lot of matches for this IP address. But let's confirm that by going to search and finding that IP address. So 45.77.158.248. Uh, we wanna see all of these tables if it shows up and we'll do the search. Go ahead and click go. And right here, a um, little overwhelming, but we find quite a few matches. There's 50 occurrences in the comments, another 63 um, down here. There's 3,627 matches in the posts table um, and a few more matches down here. So there's quite a few occurrences of this IP address scattered all over our WordPress database. Now, let me show you first a way to, within a single table, find and replace all of those instances of the IP address. Um, and then I'm gonna show you another way to find and replace those instances across all of your tables. So the first thing, the first way that we wanna do it is to click on this query. Nope, I'm sorry. Click on the SQL, I believe. Yes, okay. Click on the SQL um, tab up at the top and you can type in a query here. So the query we're going to type in is update. The table we are looking at is, let's figure that out. <laughs> um, the table is the WordPress post because I had the most occurrences of the IP address. So update the WordPress posts table and we want to set the, and I just know this because I went through this process before, the post content. Post, uh, let's just double check that because I'm not actually sure. So let's go to WordPress posts, G 
just so we're doing that. Yes, post underscore content, because that's where um, some of those IP addresses are going to be living. So set post underscore content. Not sure why that's not auto completing. Um, equals replace. And this is going to be the same exact field that we want to replace. So post underscore content. And the text that we want to replace, so it's the IP address 45.77.158.248. And we want to replace that with tonyflorida.com. Go ahead and close that. So I think that looks good. Essentially, let me just run through it one more quick. We're going to update this table, set this, this column or this field equal to the, uh, this is like a function, so we're going to replace the IP address with the domain name. So let's simulate that and see if it gives us anything good. So it matched four rows, okay? That's, that's the something, that's the start. Um, and we'll go ahead and execute it. Four rows affected. Very good. So the reason that I'm thinking that it didn't... Um, match the 3,600 rows or whatever it was is because the IP addresses are in other columns. Let's just confirm that that worked. So if we go to uh, the WordPress, actually know what the best way to determine that this worked is to go back to our website and um, pretty much look at this post again. So and see if those IP addresses are gone. So if we go to this post, and we look at the view page source. Let's look for the JPEG again. And you'll see right here that the IP address is gone. So that's that's great. That's perfect. But the problem is we still have all of those other occurrences of IP addresses across all the other tables. And you saw right there that it was hard for us to narrow it down. If it's not under post content, then it's gonna be under some other field here. And there you see it, right? the GUID field, the GUID column, we see all of those IP addresses. So we can go back in and do exactly what we just did instead of post content, um, use the GUID column, but that's a lot of work. They're, it's very manual process. We'd have to do that for each table and let's just not do that. The quicker way to do that is on the command line or by using the terminal application on your Mac. So that's going to look like um, the following. Let's just go through it. So I'm already logged into, and I'll, I'll say the caveat here that this is quite advanced. So um, I'm going to try to walk you through it, but try to make sure you know at least a little bit of what we're trying to do. And like I said, I'm walking you through it, but you can screw up a lot of stuff if you don't do it exactly the way I tell you to, or if you type the wrong character, whatever. Um, that's my warning. So Please be careful. Now, on the command line, you have the ability to pretty much download your entire database offline. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now. You can do that with the MySQL dump command. And a lot of you are going to have to type, if you're not logged in as a root user, um, dash user root, dash password, and then the name of your, your table. But for me, since I'm logged in as root already, as you can see here, I don't have to do that. So we're going to MySQL dump the database name. So the database name is over here, WordPress 1157405. And we're going to put that into a file called database.sql. Now that we have our entire database in a single file, we can use the sed command. It's a stream editor to find and replace them across all the tables because all of our tables exist in this one database file. So it is as simple as typing said dash I slash and in these quotes is going to be search for 45 oops 45 dot uh, 77 dot 158 dot 248 and we're going to replace that with Tony Florida dot com and the G here is global across the entire file. 
and the file that we're working on is database.sql. So I think here for these dots, we'll have to escape them with the single black backslash. So it's kind of looking a little goofy at this point, but there's essentially four sections to this command within the quotes. You have the command itself, search, um, the old string, the new string, and how far you want it to go. It's going to be applied globally as opposed to each each instance. So um, let's go ahead and see what happens. We'll execute that and very, very quickly again, it you don't see output, extra output, so that means it was a success, but let's verify that. Let's see if we can find any occurrences of the IP address in here. So to do that, we'll search for 45 dash um, 77 and it's not found. So that means we have many, many occurrences of TonyFlorida.com instead. So that is good. That's exactly what we want to do. Now we have a copy of the database on our file system, on our server. We just have to upload that back up to the database and replace the old database with the new database. So MySQL credentials, if you have them, the name of the database redirect and the name of the file that we edited. So let's try that. There we go. It's taken a little bit longer. It's going to have to communicate up to the database and we're done. Now we can confirm. So go back into PHP, my admin, let's refresh the page. And right there, you just saw that from the previous screen to the screen, the IP addresses are gone. We now have our um, domain name in here. Uh, and this is all stuff, this GUID column is all things, it looks like we got some JavaScript files and some, you know, some other behind the scenes stuff that are not images that you have to take care of. So the one thing I want to do here before we finish up is to just ensure that the IP address doesn't exist anywhere in our database and it's been replaced with, um, TonyFlorida.com. So let's go into search and one last time search for that IP address. So by now we should know it, but I still don't. So it's 45.77.158.248. You want to search across all tables and click go. And there you got zero matches, any table, any column in any table. That looks good. Let's, for, for sanity's sake, let's go uh, minimize this go back to our website just to make sure it loads properly. Things look like they're formatted correctly and they certainly do. Um, so very good. If you followed along, you guys rock. Um, I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you about my sequel, finding and replacing text and IP addresses in your WordPress blog post. So, um, let me know. Definitely consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.